The Walt Disney Company would like to sell you all of their products, and in exchange, you can hand them all of your data. Let's talk about that on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and here with me is data security enthusiast, Culture Casino. Culture, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling secure behind your firewall? Uh, yeah, my firewall's fine. My data apparently is about to be shared with the universe, courtesy of Disney. Not super thrilled about that, Jonas. Uh, yeah, let, let's talk about this announcement here from the Walt Disney Oof. Company. I noticed they didn't put this on the Disney Parks blog. They just put this on the Walt Disney Company website. Uh, there it is. Mm -hmm. My Disney. Uh, my Disney. They would actually like to consider it uh, their data, Disney's data. Uh, my Disney seamless login, what you need to know. Well, that's foreboding. Switching between your Disney Plus account, checking your Disney store orders, and planning your next trip to Walt Disney World can sure seem like a lot of logging in and logging out. But now, thanks to My Disney, a unified login experience for all your Disney needs, enjoying everything that the Walt Disney Company has to offer is about to get a whole lot easier. Here is everything you need to know. What exactly? is My Disney. My Disney is the name of the new capability Disney is introducing on Tuesday that gives our guests a seamless login experience by using just a single email and password across services and experiences from the Walt Disney Company. When you log in using your personal account information, you will now see the same My Disney login prompt everywhere you go, asking for the same email, email and password, creating a more seamless login experience. It seems like they just said the same thing like three times in a row there, Culture. What do you think? Yes, I think they did. I, I, I think that, uh, they, look, they're from the Department of Redundancy. Redundancy. <laughs> and uh, they're doing quite well. Um, I, first and foremost, I, I don't mind having like a bit locker or something that would allow me to log into something with one password and using a proper authenticator and it keeps track of all of that for me. I get it. But being able to link all of this to one place is the bigger problem. It's not just this password unification thing. Right. Well, I, I would totally agree with that. And a lot of people I, I don't know who these people are personally. I don't know that I know them. They haven't revealed themselves to me if they are that kind of person. We'll use the same email and password for six different services, uh, which of course means that if you guess one of those services, you've guessed all of those services and their information will end up on the dark web and and everything is essentially owned by data brokers at that point. And, and they will try to log into all of your services and, and, and all of that. So if you are the kind of person, and this is, this is data security advice for anyone here. If you have the same password across several different streaming services and the same email logging into them with no variation whatsoever, one of those services will eventually be hacked and all of those will be forfeit. Or you can just rotate your passwords on a regular basis. Uh, I, I, I think it's just something that in the modern age you need to do. Uh, by the way, there are services that are offered like Dashlane. That's a paid one that I use that that keeps track of a, a single master password and then logs you into individual websites. It's also a great way to keep track of websites where you also already have a password, which would be an excellent way to take advantage of different websites that use the My Disney series of logins without exposing a different problem. Let's continue on before we talk about that very, uh, very big customer acquisition mm, issue that I see here. My Disney is our latest innovation designed to make life easier for our consumers, allowing them to manage all their Disney related services with one uni unified account, says Aja Aurora, SVP Commerce Growth and Identity. Ooh, that's a that's a big word in there for Disney Entertainment and ESPN said. Whew, that's that's quite the title right there. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. There's more there's more words in that than there are dwarves in Snow White. Uh how is my Disney going to make my life easier as a Disney consumer? If you're someone that manages different passwords across various accounts with a single email address, this is great news for you because you can now use a single login and password. This move not only reflects our commitment to technological innovation, they're getting SSO now and they call that technological innovation. Okay. But also our dedication to creating hassle-free, memorable experiences for our consumers. Do I need to take action with my existing accounts to make them compatible? They're going to make it as simple as possible for you. At your next login attempt on any My Disney compatible service, when you enter into a password-restricted feature, Disney will ask you to update your password. From then on, the password 
is the only one you'll need to remember. This is going to throw people off when they don't realize that they've just changed the password for another service. That's hilarious. They're going to go to log in to on their Roku to their uh, to their uh, Disney Plus, Disney Minus, Hulu, whatever. They're going to go to log in, and they're going to be like, "Why is this not working?" Password. Yeah. yeah. And then they'll go to log into the Disney shop and they'll be like, why is this not working? Right. You know, every device they walk into or walk or they utilize, unless it has linked passwords through keychain, which is a Apple only feature, as far as I'm aware, um, you're going to end up with serious problems. <laughs> right. And yeah. we still we still haven't gotten to the big problem, but but already here's another problem. Uh, uh -oh. If I use more than one email address for my Disney services, will I be able to combine them? all across my disney yes disney will just ask that you take a few extra steps first make sure you cancel any subscriptions associated with an email address that you don't want to use so if you're getting a deal on any of those that's going to go away after that sign up for those same subscriptions with the email you want to keep across all your disney services and disney will recognize that email and ask you to log in with your my disney password so they're basically saying, no, 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 we want you to use one email address so that we can identify you across all services. Again, that sounds like a positive. We're going to talk about why that might be a problem in the future, but canceling all of your subscriptions if you use multiple email addresses. I would say that this is not as consumer friendly if you're the kind of person who doesn't want Disney to know all of your information. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a that's not a leap, Jonas. I'm I'm kind of worried that this is getting worse than it already was. And I mean, the, none of this, none of this sounds good. Now imagine this, as you go through their parks and you utilize their parks features, they're going to be able to track, okay, this is the payment method they use. This is the bank they use. This is the, this, you know, all those things are going to be now widespread throughout their system in mm -hmm. every other way. They'll be able to link it to ESPN and anything you participate in with ESPN, which I think you're going to talk about some of Yes, that. Let, let's, let's, let's talk about that. So first yeah. of all, let's go to this other website here, wdwmagic.com. Disney launches my Disney single login for all your Disney services. They have, uh, because they're very nice, they, they listed out all of the different logins that you uh, are, are now unifying here. First of all, you have all the different parks and experiences, including Golden Oak. Oh, those are the people who have, uh, uh, that are living on property. As it were, Club 33, those people would be a very good get. Olani, that uh, nice resort over there in Hawaii, and D23, all of these under one login. Well, and the widest spread group there outside of the pass holders is going to be the Disney Vacation Club. Uh, that, that's a that's a very good point. And they'll also know how many points you have, how many points you sell. Uh, they will be able to unify all of this information. Okay, For, then you have Marvel. If you have comic books, they'll be able to tell which comic books you read and how long it took you to read them. Star Wars, Disney Movie Insiders, Disney on Ice, Run Disney. They might be able to see how healthy you are. Disney Institute, Disney Weddings. All right. All of these ABC affiliates in uh, different areas. Ooh. Hulu, ESPN Plus, ABC, ABC, ESPN. Here we go. ESPN Fantasy. Hmm. Uh -oh. ESPN Footy Tips. I'm 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 going to be willing to bet there's probably even more information here that can be garnered from a new ESPN service that will be premiering oh. within the near future. Uh culture, do you know which one I'm thinking about? I think I would wager it's something to do with things that aren't on cruise ships, Bob. Uh, yes, I, I I would agree with that. <laughs> oh, here's another good one. Disney Store, Disney Rewards, and Disney Gift Card. Disney Rewards, is that uh, is, is that not the credit card uh, yes, Visa. line here? Yeah. So if you happen to be a person that has a Disney Chase Visa, uh, by the way, they... They, they get a little ding every time that you spend using your Disney Chase Visa over there at Universal Studios. And it, it, it hurts their feelings, even though they're still making money off of the interest on those uh, purchases over there at their uh, distinguished competition. Th this is the thing that I'm, I'm trying to bring up here, and I'm trying to get everybody to understand. If we have a problem with services like Cambridge Analytica, which didn't do anything illegal, uh, or Facebook, which did not do anything illegal when they handed all of that data over to Cambridge Analytica. It was morally wrong, but it wasn't illegal. Uh, when we see 
services like Facebook and Amazon and all of this, and they have too much data. Disney is trying to do that in an even bigger way. They want to be your cable provider as well, as we're going to talk about on the on the Extra Magic Hours streaming oh. uh, spectacular 10 p.m. on Friday. Disney is trying to know every single thing that you watch. They want to know how much you drink at the parks and when you're at Disney Springs and while you're on vacation. They want to know how much money you bet on every single game. They might even correlate that alcohol use to how much you bet on the game. They want to know where you spend all your money. They want to know all of these things so that they can formulate a better picture and sell more ads, which if you aren't aware, Disney is trying to go into ads on every single one of their entertainment products as soon as possible because they're not making any money on subscriptions right now on Disney Plus. Yeah, and they 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 they've been struggling financially. A lot of people say, "No, they're making great. The revenue's up and up and up." No, well, no. Not in comparison to their their expenses and the next few quarters are going to bear that out. And you're they're so desperate. It's 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 fairly clear. I anticipate that uh the ad the ad goal they're aiming for is to try to catch up with Google when it comes to ads ad distribution and ad sales right when when Disney views themselves as a technology company this is the kind of thing that they're talking about when they call themselves a media company if they're talking about Bob Iger's salary they compare them to Amazon and Meta yeah. and face and <laughs> Google sorry uh if, if we're talking about how much money they need to make on the studio side. They conveniently compare themselves to like Warner Brothers and Paramount that are not doing as hot as uh, as as they should be doing right here. But Disney wants to be thought as a new technological innovator and they want to be in this space so that they can be this big customer data company and connect customers and advertisers in a unified way. I'll, I'll, I'll just give the audience one example. Uh, Target was on the forefront of this kind of algorithmic big data and analysis. Target figured out a way analyzing shopping patterns to determine whether or not a woman was about to uh, have a baby. They would look at the, the purchases that were being made, whether or not it was unscented lotions versus scented lotions, uh, whether or not there was a, a, a linens being purchased or things like that. And they, they got into a little bit of trouble with uh, one father in particular, who, uh, because they started sending out coupons to try to get people at a pivotal moment when they were making a life-changing uh, decision, or they were going to have a life-changing moment, and these are the sticking points at which people are willing to change stores. Uh, so they sent coupons for pregnancy products to some guy's daughter, and the guy came in and chewed out a, a target manager. Well, what are you people trying to do? Are you trying to get my daughter to uh, want to be pregnant or whatever? Turns out that the daughter was pregnant. Wow. Um, and- and a lot of a, a lot of female customers of Target did not appreciate Target targeting them with these kind of coupons. This is a well documented uh, business case that is business one hundred and one. Mm. You can read about it in the Power of Habit, by the way, by Charles Duhigg. Excellent case study here. Because they realized it was kind of creepy for Target to know all of this data about someone, they started shielding all of this by throwing in random coupons that had nothing to do with pregnancy products right next to pregnancy products. So it is in the best interest of a company like Disney to make it as easy as possible for you to have a unified single identifier so that they can identify all of your habits across all of their services as they get ready to do do something like Disney Prime, like Amazon Prime or something like that, because they want to know you. They want to know you at your best when you have your most money, and they want to know you at your weakest so that you might put down some big money on the cubbies here. Um, I just don't trust Disney with this kind of information. Culture, I'm preaching. Help me wrap this up. Okay. Well, look. Ultimately, this is this is always a bad thing for consumers. Sometimes it's it's helpful for the businesses and the business case. Uh, I'm sure Jonas can make. But in in, in all fairness, um, your privacy is at risk every single day in every single way in every single action that you take. If you can just mitigate some of that, you're probably in a far better position. The fact that Disney wants to know all of this data and and keep it well to themselves largely or at least as much as they can isn't even really the major issue. The bigger issue is they now are involved in so many data sharing agreements that they're exposing your information, your data to all of their partners that they can sell you and your data even more. And that comes as a 
as, as a surprise to some people, I've seen some commentary around that in the last few days that these types of actions and activities would be further compromising their data, but you don't know necessarily who your data is being shared with. And, you know, as I said, if Disney has all of this information about you from your eating and drinking habits because of the food that you can you consume on vacation or the fact they can track your Chase Disney or any of these other things, wouldn't that be valuable for somebody else to have? Probably. It is, uh, in the words of Arnim Zola, it is a digital book that tells you everything about everyone in the world. There, but I want to throw this to our commenters here. I've been, I've been told that I'm, I'm, I'm making something out of nothing here. I don't think that I'm making something out of nothing here. But I do want to ask our commenters, what do you think about this situation? Will you be unifying all of your Disney passwords into one singular email address so they can serve you better as a consumer? of their products. Uh, of course, like this video if you like this video, and if it was helpful at all, uh, consider it in that as well. And of course, consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.